Hey guys, I'm going to try to keep this video really quick and to the point because uh, I can tend to ramble sometimes and I don't want to bore you. But uh, I've been quite busy as always and I have a number of things that are new that I want to show you guys. Alright guys, let's start with some things I've painted this past week. I have Gamer's Pump Snap in a pretty much degree of being finished with the exception of the clear coat. Uh, there's a stock there. I also have, for her long wait, a custom night finder. The uh, glaze or the clear coat I used did fog a little bit, but I actually think it looks pretty cool. Uh, that's just my opinion though. Uh, I've got another knife finder there for another paint commission, and I have Jolly Ranchers on my desk because I love Jolly Ranchers like those. Uh, so let's go back over here to my bed, and I have a pass that I'm working on for Graydon. The uh, other knife finder over there is for that, uh, taking so long. Uh, let's see what else do I have. I have up here, I have the 5K that's in a state of stasis at the moment. I have the rainbow pistol that I still need to stain the handle for and a stampede that I had to gut for a part. Um, you'll see why in a minute. Oh, you can see me in the mirror again. But uh, there's the pump snaps. I am trying to find a better way to fit the handles because, oh, excuse me, because the handles uh, take a lot of sanding. And I have found a small palm sander that might help me quite a bit with that. So there's that. I have uh, it's a two inch PVC cuts. I have there's a bunch of stuff on this table. Let's see. There is a laser that I'm working on. And just some other various parts of things. Uh, some springs, my hot glue gun. Uh, I have some new foam that I've had for a while that I finally got a chance to cut into some darts. These are made with 3 16 ball bearings. Um, it's a good medium weight rather than going, you know, full slingshot. But uh, it's a heavier than a BB and a little heavier than a slug, I believe, which gives it a little more travel distance. Uh, and they fly a little straighter too. Uh, I got a big McMaster order in. Well, not really big, but I needed it. I finally got the black rod, this uh, 3 8 Delrin, that I need to finish those rainbow pistols that are over there. And let's see, I also got those 3 16th ball bearings and I got a uh, skirt seal. Uh, over here we have the part I needed from the stampede. I am working on a SMG stampede. Um, I've got the battery pack wired up. And I've got extra truss fires and two truss fire chargers. And that is for a you, person who emailed me. Um, it is going to be painted and I will have a firing test of this at the end of the video. So if you're interested in seeing that, I'll, it'll be you know closer to the end of the video. Um, I've assembled my uh, plus bow because uh, Bubba was here a few days ago or actually yesterday, and he wanted to shoot it, so I just put it together in its non-finished state. I still need to stain the, or not stain, I need to varnish or lacquer the uh, the wood on here so it wears a little better. Uh, wood stock's been stained as well. I also found a piece of the magical PVC in my scrap bin. It uh, works for a CPVC breech. Uh, I can't open it, maybe I can open it with one hand, let me see. Yeah, I can a little bit. Come on now. It's much easier with two hands, but uh, I only had to lightly sand the CPVC to get it fit in there. There, ha There is no O-ring in here. It doesn't need one to seal because uh, the, the CPVC is actually almost a brass-like fit, and that's kind of cool. So that is paired with the plus bow. It is 16 inches long. Uh, let me think what else. I've got a giant box. It probably weighs about 10, 15 pounds. That is getting shipped out in the morning. It has all my old super soakers that I sold for a good profit on eBay. And let's see. I've got the pass I'm working on, and the two night finders for the commissioners who have waited so long. And I guess right now, unless I think of something else, I will go ahead and cut to the stampede firing. And I guess I might as well fire the plus bow showing the breach off. So just stick stick around, guys. I'll go ahead and cut to it now. All right, guys. This has a Orange Modworks two and a half times spring, four truss fires running at a little over 16 volts, and a strengthened. Uh, return spring for the plunger tube. Um, I'm going to hold it here so that you guys can see it, but I'm not normally holding it on the left. So let's go ahead and just shoot it for you guys real quick just to demonstrate the rate of fire. This is 18 streamlines. See? No run issues or anything. The truss fire battery pack will be mounted here, and the stock will be coming down back here. It is your standard SMG stampede, and it is quite fun and quite powerful. Um, it's probably one of the funnest blasters I've made in a long time, and I enjoyed it a lot. This is going to be getting a full paint job and, of course, a full overview video whenever it is done.
Alright guys, as promised, I would want to show you the demonstration of the breech, and it is attached to my plus bow, which is still getting tweaked. I need to take a little bit of the compression out, and I'm going to make a new plunger rod out of Delrin so it's black and matches. But uh, here's a quick dart loading demonstration of my breech. You simply twist it a little bit, and it pulls right out, and you slot a dome in, or any other dart of your choice, and you simply close the breech, and you fire into your target or wherever you want. And you just redraw. Open the breech again, let me grab a dart, and you load it in like such. You can either push it forward into the CPVC, or I flared it pretty well so it can just be straight on push loaded. And let's shoot it again. So, I love my plus bow, and I'm still tweaking it. I want it to be absolutely perfect. I finally fixed my bushing seal, so it's uh, got actually a threaded rod through. But, of course, this plaster will have a full overview as soon as it is done, and it's to my liking and being tweaked, and this will likely be my blaster choice at Nomni. But uh, I haven't decided yet. Nomine will be talked about in another video. I almost forgot about something, guys. I have gotten a few more of my vintage blaster collection. Uh, I had a trade with Baby Gandhi for the SM 1.5K. And I have 15 Ys over there. And I also... Bobolola was nice enough to get me for my birthday. I'm not going to pull it out. But he got me a very good condition Aerostorm. And he just gave it to me because he loves me. And I love Bobolola so much for that. I've wanted one that's in good pretty good shape for a long time but um, that one's gonna get modded in a skirt seal and gonna be crazy just like his is but I just thought I'd show you guys that before I go ahead and uh, cut this video out so as you see guys Dennis's world is pretty full and now you know my, my name is Dennis that was the awkward word but uh, Nam's world is very full of things going on and there's my blaster bin but uh, I'm starting to ramble now uh, I've got a lot of stuff. I'm going to go to work tonight, and uh, I've got to build a snap bow. So, if you guys have any questions about anything, feel free to leave them below. And like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. I'm very close to 1,500 subscribers, and I love you guys, and I will talk to you at a later date.